this is going to be a two-part episode, where in this episode, we're going to create a customizable dashboard. This dashboard will have several different kinds of widgets that you can just drag and drop onto your dashboard. And in the next episode, we're going to display the contents of the dashboard. So it'll look something like this, where the user will have all of the different panels. And as they scroll down, it'll lazy load them in as they come into view. And so this is a great way to build a very high performing dashboard. And with Rails 7 and Hotwire using turbo frame tags, we can make this a very quick loading page. So if I destroy this dashboard, and it'll take them back to the root path, and it'll generate a new default dashboard. So a user will always have a dashboard. They can create many different kinds, or they can create just their one. And so in this episode, we're going to be creating the edit page where we can drag widgets onto the dashboard. Some of the widgets are a one by one, and then some of them are much larger. So this one is going to be a two by three. We are able to adjust the size of them depending on our situation and what we want, or we can lock them down. So some of these can only be a certain size. We could also remove them from our dashboard and we can add in additional ones. And so we'll be building this interaction and then we'll also be saving this to our database. And then in the next episode, we'll be worrying about the show page of the dashboard displaying in all of these items. And to do this, we are going to be using a JavaScript library called GridStack. And it is a really neat one where you can see you can do different kinds of interactions as well as resizing elements and all of that kind of stuff. So we're going to be building in this functionality and persisting it to the database. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt? To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.